Let's take a few minutes to show you a demo of our actual platform. Two of our most popular courses are Microsoft Excel and Financial Modeling. To make it clear about how it works, I'd like you to get a taste of the end user experience as if you were a student using the platform for the first time. Here you can see the guided simulation interface where you can try and at the same time build muscle memory. On this platform, you can absorb 90% of information with guided simulation and spaced repetition compared to watching video alone, which is suboptimal. There is an overall progress bar here and an efficiency score where people can become two times, three times, and even five times more efficient. For one of our clients, Mida No More, we've seen an incredible gain for one person to reach an efficiency score of 16 times. If an efficiency score is 2x, it means that any task you were doing in two hours, you can now do in one hour. The more you practice well, the more productive you become. An initial IQ test is taken here, where you're asked in this case, 20 questions to test your initial baseline level of knowledge. And then we take another IQ test at the end of each submodule. Your first assessment IQ is measured here. And then if you repeat this over time, your best assessment will be shown over here. Let's go to a section of the actual simulation based training. Here we're going to learn how to project revenue growth. When I enter, I'm asked to perform a number of requests. What I'm doing is actually typing in keystrokes now on my keyboard and getting real time feedback. It's classic learning by doing. If I type the instruction carefully and correctly, I move on to the next one. And if not, it wobbles here in red. It's this loop that will enhance your training. Once I complete these two topics within the sub module, I'm asked to do a skill set IQ, which we strongly encourage in order for the overall efficiency score to update over time. At the end of the course, you'll actually be given a downloadable case study to solve. In this case, you're asked to calculate the equity value per share based on what you've learned in the prior training module. And you're expected to do this offline and then come online again, where you'll be asked various questions about the case study. Now let's move on to the part of the platform that's geared towards businesses looking to upskill groups of people. Imagine you're an HR leader, a university administrator, or a school administrator who's enrolled a number of students to learn financial modeling. Here on this dashboard, you can see a number of statistics. The active users tell us how many people have used the platform in the last 15 days. Course progress below tells us on average how much has the course been completed, taking an average of all enrolled learners for that course. You can actually add users over here and you can do that in a batch format. In this section called courses, you can see the number of enrolled users. There are actually some additional statistics like last login date that can help. The analytics section gives us a lot of granularity. Here you're able to see within financial modeling, the average course completion across the board for your learners and the average efficiency per person. If I want to see how one specific individual is doing, I can see the overall progress test score as a whole, and this can be broken down by module and sub-module. Here it will tell us the overall progress someone has done on the simulation, as well as how much of the skill set IQ they've completed. Because of these features, Key Skill Set has been utilized for upskilling interns, senior managers of KPMG used it for reskilling purposes, and hiring managers are using it for pre-interview testing. An ROI calculator is useful to see how much has been saved by using this platform. So for example, here we have 16 students learning financial modeling with an average efficiency score of 2x. If we put in their average salary of $60,000, for example, and we say that they spend about four hours per day on financial modeling, and the price of using the platform is $50 per user per month. The organization is spending $800 and they'll be saving per year $240,000 due to the efficiency gains of using the platform. If you're an organization that would like to assess your financial modelers on something specific that's not necessarily in our curriculum, we can customize the platform 
and change the downloadable case study so it relates to your organization's needs. Users can come back onto the platform and the test questions can be customized to match the case study. Customizations like this can take up to a month and costs are discussed on a case-by-case -case basis. We've been fortunate to have some long-standing clients in a range of areas. Medin & Moore is an accountancy firm and Fullstack Modeler, the host of this great summit, has been a partner of ours for a while. Etisalat is Dubai's largest company. As we are developing a presence in that region, we've partnered with them, whilst also working with the European Centre for Career Education to help students upskill.